Today's video is all about making those iPad stick and also running through the importance of lash cleansing for more than just that purpose. So obviously we know that lash cleansers clean the lashes, but not only does it clean the lashes and help create a magnetic bond between the natural lash and the extension, but it also cleanses the upper eyelid and under the eye. And the reason why that's so important is because of our iPad. So if you are an artist who finds that the iPad slips, either when you're pulling layers back or when you're covering that lash, the, just below the lash line, then this video is for you. So today, my products of choice are Lost Artistry Lash Lash Bath, Lost Artistry Fine Bristled Cleansing Brush. And this is actually just a water bottle. It's meant for refilling your Nano Mister, but I use it for cleansing every day. It is amazing. So all you're gonna need are those three things and a face cloth to catch the water. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. First, take your cleansing brush. Put some lash bath foam on there and it's also really gentle it's actually such a gentle product that if your client wanted to they could open their eyes not suggesting that they do that but that's just how gentle it is so first we're going to focus on that lash line and you really want to make sure you get all the way in there to where the skin and the eyelashes meet around that follicle don't be afraid to really get in there the fine bristled brush makes it comfortable for the client and it's really important to clean in there because that's where we make our connection. If you can't see where the natural lash begins and ends, just have your client tilt their chin back a little bit so you can make sure you're really getting in there and see what you're doing. Now, we don't just finish there. What we're gonna do is take another pump. Now we're gonna cleanse all the way across the eyelid and below where the eye pads are gonna sit. Now, even if the client comes in and says, oh, I'm not wearing any makeup, you still do this. And the reason why is because we have natural oils in our skin and those oils will make your pads slip everywhere and interfere with the connection between that natural lash and your extension. So a deep cleanse is really important. It might take some time in the beginning, but believe me when I say it actually saves you time throughout the whole service. So it can't be skipped, even if you're priming. Then you're gonna tilt your client's head to the side so the water rolls off onto the face cloth. Take your warm water and cleanse. Now we wanna make sure we get all products off, every bit of that cleanser off. So you're gonna rinse one time, pat dry, and just to be safe and make sure, you're gonna do it again. Any buildup on the natural lashes, even if it is cleanser, is not good and it will interfere with retention. And I'm not gonna bore you with showing you the other eye, but just repeat the exact same thing on the other side. And if you have any questions about cleansing or just lost artistry as a whole, go ahead and check out the description below. We'll tag the product so you can check it out. And if you're interested in having Lash Bath for resale, it's a great product to sell to all your clients so that they can use it at home as well. Thanks for watching.